friends, Melanie. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to be making um, a nice, warm, comforting winter soup because it's really yucky outside. It's icy and snowy and all that good stuff. Um, I want to show you this cookbook though. It's amazing. One of my all-time favorite ones. It's called Sababa by Adina Sussman. And you can see how much I use those, all the pages that are bookmarked. And uh, it's really great to be able to put your own spin on some of the recipes too. If there's an ingredient you don't like, substitute it. Um, I was making my favorite side dish from the re this book the other day and I was out of eggplant. I had one, but it was bad when I cut it open. So I just went with zucchini and squash and red bell pepper instead. So feel free on any recipe, make it how you like it. Like I like to make things a lot spicier and add way more garlic than it calls for. Um, so today what we're gonna be doing is making marak katom, which is orange soup, and then you top it with uh, crunchy seeds and harissa. Harissa is um, like a spicy, condiment from the Middle East, it's so good. This is a rose harissa. The recipe actually calls for honey harissa, but I had to special order this anyway, because we, I can't find it anywhere in Arkansas. Um, so go with what you got. I'm sure you could substitute it with probably like a, a Szechuan chili sauce or oil or something like that. And yes, it's gonna give a different like flavor to it, different taste, but if you want the spicy, I mean, make it work for you. <laughs> Okay, so um, when I said orange soup, you're probably thinking of like oranges. No, it's just the color of the soup. So I have six cups. Any orange vegetables will do. So you can use butternut squash, carrots, sweet potatoes, whatever you've got. So I just have sweet potatoes and carrots. So that's my six cups of my orange colored vegetables that I'm gonna use. And then it also calls for one large onion and three cloves of garlic and I'm actually gonna cook this first. I've got my oil in my pot and I'm gonna warm it up, put this in. This is gonna cook for eight or nine minutes. Then I'm gonna add my orange vegetables. Good thing about this, we're gonna use the um, blender, the like uh, emulsion blender to puree it. So you don't have to cut like super precisely. You can kind of cut however, cause we're gonna puree it. So that always makes it better. So I'm gonna get this going and then we'll check back in. I'll add my orange vegetables and we'll continue from there. Mmm, got my onions cooking. Sounding good, can you hear that? All right guys, here we go. My onions have cooked down quite significantly, as you can see, and they're starting to get kind of golden brown. I'm gonna add these bad boys in here. So I've got my sweet potatoes, and but you hear my dogs fighting in the background? I wonder who could have been. <laughs> um, okay, and then my other one I'm adding in. And now I'm just gonna stir this in, incorporate it all really well, and let it cook for about five minutes, and then we'll add some more goodies in there. All right, so my onions and my carrots and my sweet potatoes have been cooking down now. Um, they're looking really good, starting to get tender. So I'm gonna add a can of coconut milk. Get the full fat coconut milk. If you're gonna eat it, you might as well you know, get the good stuff. It's not gonna taste as good if you get the reduced fat, but I guess if you have to, then do it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna add that in. Then I'm gonna add one of the cans full of just water. So I'm gonna grab that. Shaking it up and getting all the goodies. Mm -hmm. All right, hopefully it won't spill this. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, then we're gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt. Uh, funny story on um, during the pandemic when I was stuck at home and I really started you know getting more and more into cooking um, one day <laughs> we had a delivery I was really embarrassed um, I had 15 pounds of kosher salt in this delivery from Amazon um, I thought I was ordering a small 
uh, thing of Madras curry powder, though it's huge. And then I also got my Persian lines. <laughs> so it was like the most random mix of stuff that I bought. Uh, but I've had so much fun ex exploring all these different flavors and um, different foods from all over the world. So uh, yeah, that was just a, a random funny. Then we're gonna do um, a tablespoon of honey. I have a half a tablespoon so it'll fit in there. And I'll add, ooh, yummy. Add that in, woo. Do not want to come off. Um, and one more to make a full tablespoon. There we go. Yum, yum. All right. And then I am going to add a half teaspoon of turmeric or turmeric, or however you say it. Um, I always buy like giant bags of this because I eat it like it's going out of style. It's so good. Um, but here's what gets on my nerves. Like there's obviously an R here. So many people say turmeric, which R, if this R is silent, why is that R not silent? I mean, just saying, kind of weird, I don't know. But anyway, so I say turmeric. So don't get mad if you're a turmeric person. Um, I'm going to use half a teaspoon of this. It's going to give it that beautiful, deep yellow, like golden color. And it's so good for you too. I, like I said, I use so much of this. It's, it's crazy. Um, okay. So I am going to kind of mix all of this together and I'm going to let it cook on kind of a medium to medium low. Uh, for about 25 minutes and after everything is really nicely incorporated um, and the vegetables are cooked and soft then I will use my immersion blender not emulsion I said the wrong thing earlier <laughs> I was like what <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use that um, but like I said I'm gonna let it cook and then we'll come back and see how it's doing all right, so my soup is cooked for about 25 minutes. I actually had to turn it down a little bit more because you don't want it boiling, you just want it simmering. But the vegetables are cooked now, so I'm gonna use my blender to puree it all. And then the next step is to make your crunchy topping with your sesame seeds, your pepitas, the, um, their pumpkin seeds. And the recipe also calls for sunflower seeds but I don't have that so I'm gonna use some flax and some chia the flax is already toasted so I'm not gonna include it in my lovely little pot over here where I'm gonna toast it I'm just gonna do the ones that aren't toasted already and then um, I'll show you the finished product when we're done okay I've got my seeds in with the olive oil on about medium heat and I'm just gonna toast them so when you start hearing one or two pop they should be good to go. So um, this will be the topping for our soup and it is all blended and beautiful over here. So, okay, I've got my beautiful toasted seeds. I'm letting them drain on some paper towels to get some of that um, olive oil out. And then I will top my soup with this. All right, I've got the soup all ready to go here. It's a beautiful deep orange color. I'm gonna top it with some of my toasted seeds. Ooh, that looks good and they smell really good too, really like nutty. Um, and then I'm also, because I like it hot, I'm gonna put some of my harissa on there. And I'll probably stir that up all good and enjoy this big beautiful bowl of orange soup.